Hello everyone, I'm Julian Morris with the Channel 5 News. In the headlines, Lamar Irish Kid Irish in the big leagues as he makes it into the Calypso quarterfinals. Over 7,000 ambulance calls making 2018 a challenging year for the emergency authorities. And the police chief announces plans to grow the force even more. The details coming up. Rudolph Thomas Enterprise in Portsmouth, your suppliers of building materials and hardware products. Over 20 years experience in the business. Rudolph Thomas has lumber and plywood, galvanized and fenced pipe. Check out Rudolph Thomas for ceramic and vinyl floor and wall tiles, nails, nuts and bolts, paint and painting supplies. And check out their line of electrical and hand tools. Go now to Rudolph Thomas on 1240 Bay Street in Portsmouth. First up in the news, his four years as junior Calypso monarch have prepared him well as Lamar Irish Kid Irish from Portsmouth is now in the big leagues with the heavyweights of Calypso. Andrea Louis reports. The former junior monarch was successful in moving past the eliminations round of the Calypso competition with his song, Hang On To Your Dream. Joining Irish Kid in the quarterfinals will be former three-time Calypso King Derek Hunter St. Rose, whose song Rap Spoon and Fork in Napkin won favor with the judges. Hunter returned to the arena after a four-year hiatus, and another Calypsonian who returned from a two-year break also got the judges nod to move forward. Jamal Lloyd, a.k.a. Black Diamond, got massive crowd response to his song Don't Look For My Tongue. Webster Webb Marie, another Calypsonian to return to the big stage after a couple years break, will also be heading to the quarterfinals with his song Darkness of Blackness. Other veteran Calypsonians who have made it to the quarterfinals are Raymond Vigilante Vigilant with Follow the Leader, Steve Williams aka Triumph singing Thank God for Scaro, Andre Mask Eruption Joseph with his rendition Wannabe, Wilfred Peltier, The Intruder, singing Walk with Eyes Closed. Dave Sopus Pascal with his song Wind Blow, Time Go. The youth will also be well represented with the likes of File, Gila Lander, singing Hope Must Survive. The ladies are not to be left out as Claudine Big C. Charles will be at the quarterfinals with her song Bikini Flavor. Danian Joseph, stage name Danian, wraps up the 12th selected as his song, Holy Country, has advanced him to the next round. The reserves from the weekend's show are Stanley Stowe, aka Son of Saint, with My Motto, Kerwin, Mighty Omi Kazimi, singing Who Am I, and Deros Pelte, stage name Deros, with No Rum, No Vote. The 12 chosen ones will meet 20 others at the quarterfinals scheduled for 2nd February. Andrea Louis, Channel 5 News. Fire and Ambulance Service is reporting over 7,000 ambulance calls in 2018. Here again is Andrea Louis. Substation officer and a public relations officer for the Dominica Fire and Ambulance Service, Wayne Leta, spoke at a recent press conference of the Ministry of Justice, Immigration and National Security. He said the 2018 figures show a slight increase over the number of calls made in 2017. During the year, we, we had in excess of 7,000 ambulance calls responded to across the island, and the approximate amount is 7,284, and that would have represented a slight increase over that of 2017. We also had 187 fire calls responded to, and those calls were around the, from statistics from all over the island, which included the various stations. Later says 2018 was a challenging year for the department, but despite the hiccups, they were able to complete a number of training sessions. We also had fire prevention activities, and those fire prevention activities were carried out by the fire prevention unit. And in 2018, whereas we had <coughs> a slight decrease in the amount of activities that we conducted at the fire prevention unit, but we saw that quite a bit more work in terms of the persons that were affected by training, that increased. And as a matter of fact, we trained approximately 2,335 persons in 
fire safety and first aid during the year. Plans for 2019 include the continuation of the first aid certification program in secondary schools. That program actually, it was planned by the Israel and the fire service is part of that. And we uh, have been going to the high schools and training the performers in first aid and CPR response and they're be, they're being certified in that area in the in the year 2019 we'll be moving to the schools in the rosa area and also castle bruce and granby secondary schools according to later there were 70 accident calls in 2018 the rosa fire station responded to 44 of the 70 calls the commonwealth of dominica police force about to see another increase in its numbers the plan is to grow the police force beyond its current 500 officers. Police Chief Daniel Carbon says a larger police force is in the best interest of the country. I'm very happy. I'm very pleased that the government have moved to increase the police force from 500 to 600. And you just heard the pronouncements of the minister that very likely it will be increased from 600. Recently, in the month of September, we graduated 26 police officers and that spelled out very well for the police force and the citizens of this country, especially for the city of Roseau because we've been suffering with the lack of manpower and the presence of uniformed police officers in the city and island-wide as well. But you'd have noticed since September there have been a lot of police officers, uniformed police officers in the city of Roseau. Carbon says the increase in numbers means an expansion in the rank structure within the force. With that increase, <laughs> there's also an increase in the rank structure. The government have moved to increase the rank of inspector by two. And there's also an increase in the rank of sergeant by 14. We have in place for some time now, and I hope it's coming very soon, all the mechanisms have been done to have in place an assistant commissioner of police. The government have increased the corporal rank by six, and there's an increase in the constable rank by 77. The lifeless body of a woman fished out of the sea Saturday morning has been identified as 51-year-old Vernis Nelson of Portsmouth. Police PRO Inspector Simon Edwards says the deceased was identified by a family member. The body was fished out of the Caribbean Sea about three quarters of a mile outside of Rockaway Beach. Police are continuing their investigations. You are watching Channel 5 News. We'll have more after the break. M&J Covering is the producer of designed galvanized and galvalume in Dominica. They design to your specifications, color and length, four styles of galvanized and galvalume pre-painted roofing sheets as requested and supply all your galvalume accessories. M&J Covering helps you control spending and reduce waste. At M&J Covering, they are also equipped to build your roof to precise standards anywhere on island. So come to M&J Covering at One Mile in Portsmouth or call 445-5001-275-5003 today. An 18-year-old male of Wesley has been charged with murder. Police say the young man, Glentis Baptiste, was charged after his uncle died from injuries sustained from the impact of a concrete block. The Commonwealth of Dominica Police Force has concluded investigations into a homicide and has charged Glentis Baptiste, male 18 years of Wesley, with murder of his uncle Palmer Philip Belsuje, male 54 years of Wesley. The deceased Palmer Belsuje was struck with a concrete block by Baptiste on Friday, the 21st of December, 2018, at Wesley, and was a patient at the Princess Margaret Hospital until his death on Wednesday, the 2nd of January, 2019. 
The Ministry of Health and Social Services is reminding Dominicans of their collective and individual responsibility to discourage alcohol and drug abuse among young people. The minister's admonition comes as activities are being ruled out to mark Drug Awareness Month. Some of these activities include drug symposiums, exhibitions and don't drink and drive campaigns. The United Nations Office on Drug Control saw the need for developing a balanced, multidisciplinary, evidence-based approach to the drug problem because of the increasing complexity and adverse effects on health and economic activities. In this regard, the Hemispheric Plan of Action on Drugs has been established as a guide in facilitating the reduction of drug abuse. To date, this plan of action reiterates boldly our country's continued commitment to further the progress of drug reduction, considering gender, age, and other cultural issues. This year's Drug Awareness Month program features two awareness walks and rallies in the towns of Portsmouth and Roseau, and will be held in collaboration with the Youth Division. Other activities include a grand exhibition featuring the work of several departments, which takes place at the Public Service Union Building and at the Marigot Public Library. There will also be two Don't Drink and Drive campaigns, one at Poncasse and the other at Roseau. The Ministry of Health and Social Services will continue its drive on educating and empowering individuals on the misuse of drugs. However, as a nation, we should be mindful and remember that it is also our collective and individual responsibility to curb the trend of alcohol consumption and the use of other drugs among the population, especially our youth. According to the World Health Organization, more than 3 million people die each year from the harmful use of alcohol. Alcohol abuse is responsible for 22% of all suicides. The theme for Drug Awareness Month is Youth, Let's Talk About Alcohol and Other Drugs, a conversation that could change your life. And Antigua's Prime Minister Gaston Brown is reported to be considering compulsory acquisition of the local Scotiabank branch in that country. Last year, Republic Financial Holdings Limited announced its intention to acquire Scotiabank's operations in Dominica and other countries in the region. The Daily Observer Online is reporting that the Prime Minister made this latest threat on the weekend. The Observer says this move by the Prime Minister comes just days ahead of a planned meeting with officials from two banking institutions. The Prime Minister is reported to have written to the bank officials in December asking for a January meeting. Scotiabank announced the sale of its branches in nine Caribbean countries including Antigua and Dominica back in November. To end the news, a look again at the headlines. Lamar Irish Kid Irish in the big leagues as he makes it into the Calypso quarterfinals. Over 7,000 ambulance calls, making 2018 a challenging year for the emergency services. And the police chief announced his plans to grow the force even more. Feel free to contact us at news at mapping2k4.com. You may access our past newscasts on our YouTube channel. On behalf of the production team, I am Julian Morris. Thank you for watching. Join us tomorrow.